Hey there everyone, my name is Luke, I am from the Game Emporium and I am one of the bloggers here at Zatu. And if, like me, you are getting hyped about the latest Stonemaier Games release apiary, where space bees are doing space bee things, it looks really cool, then you might be interested in some of the other Stonemaier games that we as bloggers have come to recommend. So, in our blog we've picked up five Stonemaier games that we think are the best, and here they are. First up, it is Scythe. If you want to be exploring 1920s Europa in a dystopian alternative past following the Great War and exploring as one of five different factions, gaining resources, trying to conquer each other's terrains, and generally running around with mechs, Scythe might be the game for you. Next up is Red Rising, a retheme of Fantasy Realms based on the book series by Pierce Brown. Manipulate your hand so that you have the best possible scoring opportunities at the end of the game, whilst also utilising the unique regions of the board and the special powers of the citizens. Sandwiched in between the rest of the games is Between Two Castles of Mankin Ludwig. You are trying to build out two very different, unique and quite frankly wacky castles by placing out different tiles and drafting them with the people to your left and your right. Whatever is the lowest castle is the one that's going to score so you need to make sure to build them up equally. Next up is Euphoria, a dice worker placement game set in a dystopian future, where the value of the dice is directly linked to how intelligent that worker is. They become too intelligent, they will leave because they don't want to work in a dystopian future anymore. They want to go and do their own thing. And finally, the game that launched a thousand fantastic game nights, it is Viticulture. The game where you are getting grapes, planting them, growing them, loving them, harvesting, squishing them, making them into wine, and then selling it on to fulfill those orders. There is a wonderful expansion in Tuscany which lets you explore more seasons and try out different combinations and just change up the game a little bit, as well as a wonderful co-op mode in Viticulture World. So that is five Stone My games that we as bloggers would recommend to you. If you want to read a little bit more about them, check out our blog and see what's going on there. See you later.